How's it going everybody? My name is Jeremy. Welcome back to our channel, Happiness Travels. If you caught one of my earlier videos, I went down south with my mom to pick up a new trailer. We brought that trailer up to my house, completely tore it apart, rebuilt it to make a one-of-a-kind trailer perfect for my mom. Well, that trailer here is sitting behind me. I'm going to go ahead and take you guys inside and give you a tour. Let's go take a look. Before we continue this tour, let me take you back in time to the night we pick it up so you can see just what it looked like. That night we stayed at a nice RV park near Magic Mountain. And now we continue our drive home so we can start tearing this thing apart. Got a little carried away and accidentally threw out a kid. Sorry, Carly. One of the things we're adding is a new water heater. This one's just a propane. We're gonna be installing a new propane electric. That way she can do either wherever she's at. New one's a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and cut on over here and reframe that in and mount the new one a new water heater this one's an electric propane combo that way depending on where she's camping at if she's got hookups she can just use electric if she's out uh, dry camping she can go ahead and use the propane to get some hot water we're getting there new flooring putting the new fridge in got the water heater in got to finish wiring it up but got that all framed in and the whole cut and installed and sealed waterproof New hoses, new floor, yeah, getting there. All right, got it all wired up. Let's take a look. Aha, man, that's just fantastic. that hard work it's finally done we pack up and head out for our first camping trip in the new trailer let's continue that tour
So as you can see over here, we went ahead and tore out the bench seating that had the little drop down table for the dinette. My mom put a comfortable chair in for herself. And we built a new little bench seating here for when she has guests and stuff over. But it opened the room up so much more. Up front, we tore out the old bed, built a completely new frame, everything. She put a new twin mattress in here, much more comfortable than the standard cushions that come with a travel trailer. And underneath the bed, she has a brand new um, hot water heater that's an electric and propane combo. And she has a 30 gallon fresh water tank up there. We installed a new Fantastic fan. These things are actually pretty fantastic. They'll blow in, they'll blow out. Um, they work great. We also installed her a fireplace. Everyone needs a fireplace in their travel trailer. We also installed a new microwave and it's got a brand new three-way refrigerator. Electric, propane, and 12 volt. We also installed her a solar system. She's got a 200 watt Renergy solar system on the roof and she's got a thousand watt Renergy inverter down below here. On the ceiling we took out the old speakers that she used to have and we found some uh, LED lights on Amazon that fit perfectly up there in the holes. We put all new flooring in. Over here we got the switches for her hot water, for the gas, and then for the electric. This is her on-off switch for her Renergy 1000 watt inverter that we have installed. I did some cool little lights that she wanted over here by the bed. Up top here, this is where this will fold down and then it can be a, uh, a bunk bed. So if she has one of my kids stay with her, she can fold down and then she's got a bunk bed for someone to stay. Down here was just a compartment for the outside. So this was just solid wood here, had a paneling. We cut the paneling out, added a door. Now she has storage inside because on the outside she has a box on the back, which I'll show you in just a minute. So now she's got added storage in here. Below the fireplace, that's down there where she keeps her laundry basket. Under the bench here, she's got extra storage. Up. She's got some goodies in there. here with just her clothes and stuff like that. There's the box I was talking about. We put on back so she didn't need that storage box back here, a storage compartment. All new LED lights all the way around, all new stripping. Really came out good. New steps. Tires. There's the new water heater, which again is for water, uh, which is the electric propane combo. Get a spare tire holder up front here for her. New gauges, new jacks, new tongue. I extended the tongue a little bit so that way when her tailgate's down, she doesn't hit the jack. I stored all four new these level, level jacks here from all, all the sides. So it's been a lot of fun having my mom rebuild this trailer. I know she's super happy. It's exceeded her wildest imagination of what she thought it was going to be. How everything turned out, the, the paint, I painted the outside. I've never painted this before, but with all the right stuff, got a sprayer. It really came out great. It really came out good. She was just blown away. Um, but everything on the trailer is just, man, it's come out fantastic. Everyone who's seen it is just blown away with how nice it looks. 
Uh, but I'm very happy. I'm very happy for her. This is just what she wanted. This is probably her last trailer. She's 70. Like I said before in another video, she's 70, looks like she's 60, acts like she's 40, and she does. Uh, this has everything she wanted now. Uh, completely self-sustained. We've been camping now for five days. Um, with the amount of solar she's bringing in, she's able to use her microwave here and there, which I didn't think she'd be able to, but she is. She has an electric coffee pot. Um, so she's able to do more than she ever was. And all of her other trailers, she never had a bathroom. She always used the porta potty or she had a little portable toilet thing she took. Um, but now she has water, she has a bathroom, she can take showers. Um, so it's, it's perfect for her. It's a small, compact, lightweight trailer. Um, it's awesome. I'm super happy with how it came out. I know she is as well. Um, and I can't, I'm just looking forward to all the trips that we get to go on. And this is our first one. Uh, we're going to be here about a week at the place we're at now. If you saw any other videos I made of her older, she actually has two other trailers. She has a 56, I believe, and a 75. Neither one of them have bathrooms. One of them has some water, but she's never used it because she didn't know how to deal with the tanks and all that stuff since my dad passed away. Um, so this trailer is all set up nice for her. Everything works easy. She knows what to do on everything. Um, so she's super excited. And she's got this trailer just how she wants it for herself. It's very comfortable with the chair that she put in here, the little bench for when people come over. She actually has a regular bed. Um, she's very excited and she's looking forward to all the adventures that we're going to go on. And if you like trailers and traveling, keep an eye out for upcoming videos. We had some really big plans. We we're going to get a new RV and do some full-time traveling. But with all the crazy stuff going on right now, we had to kind of take a step back. So we're going to be using the trailer we have. We're going to do more of some part-time traveling. We got some amazing places that we're going to go. We'll be able to stay safe. And since I'm going to be homeschooling the triplets this year, it's going to be great education for them. So we'll have part-time schooling at home, part-time schooling on the road. Man, everyone is so excited and we can't wait to get started. So I hope you join us for this crazy adventure and maybe we'll see you out on the road.